So now I want to talk to you a bit about structure. Structure is one of the principles of Wing Chun and it's also the foundational way that you develop your power for Wing Chun as well. So essentially what structure is, is your bone structure. Your spine, the ribs, the bones in the arms, the legs, the skull, simply put, your bones. Now, how does that even relate to self-defense? So what we're looking to do is to unify the body structure so that when you have incoming pressure, you absorb it into your whole body structure as opposed to just with one part of your structure. So for example, if Carson puts pressure on me, so he put maybe two arms, and he puts a lot of pressure on me like this, and I try to use just the strength of my arm in no relationship to my body, and he puts a lot of pressure, I keep going, keep going, but the tension in my shoulder and my upper body disconnects this part of my structure from this part of my structure, right? So if I can, if I can center myself, feel my bone structure so that my, imagine my whole bone structure was like fused in this position, like it was one big bone. As he goes to put pressure on now, I can just take that pressure into my structure and then if I need to, I can just move it yeah? because the structure is unified. So then the question becomes, how do we do that? And then you've, so you've seen why we do, the reason why is so that you can A, deal with incoming pressure effectively, but also give off larger amounts of power because you're hitting with your whole body structure as well. Yeah, so there's a, there's a few components to this, but we'll go deeper into it now. So, you know, the question once again that we come back to is, you know, how? The way we do it in our system is through centering combined with sensing. So centering, uh, if you haven't done the state course, you can check that out. We've got a lot of videos on centering, but I'll give you like a mini idea of it now. So Carson, if you can stand here and face that way. Centering is when you softly drop from the pelvic floor, like you're stopping yourself from going to the toilet. Uh, it gives you a, like a gentle activation down like you're in, in the base. And from there, you kind of have a sense of risingness. So you sense your spine being upright to the crown of the head. So you put your concentration in your center. Um, you can also visualize a line there as well if you find that helpful. So this is the centering concept. Yeah. Now, that's the first component because the incoming pressure that goes into your body needs to be translated somewhere. And when Carson centers himself nice and tall, when I put pressure through his arm, that can go into his center. Whereas if he just shakes his body out and loosens up and just goes floppy in his center, but, and I put pressure in your feet, it's quite easy for me to affect his structure. But when he tight lifts his spine up, keeps his spine nice and tall, yeah, he feels his center, he can imagine it filled with light if he wants to. Now when I put pressure in, it draws into his spine. Now, that's only one component of it because he also, as he centers, wants to feel his hips, the bones of his hips and the bones of the legs. He wants to feel his whole bone structure so that as I put pressure into his into his arm, it feeds into the whole structure itself. Thanks. So, how do we activate structure? Through centering, and the second point was sensing, which I did kind of without giving you too much detail on there. Sensing is just your ability to sense space or sense your body. So for example, if you feel your feet now on the, gro on the ground, you have a sensation of them. You want to sink your sensation into your bone structure. What might be useful is if you just Google an image of the skeleton, yeah? So that's where you're putting your concentration into your skeleton so that your skeletal structure becomes the framework of how you deal with incoming pressure. So if Carlson, once again, stands in front of me, he's not just in a Wing Chun stance now where everything's triangulated and focused, you know, to my center like the last videos. He's also in the Wing Chun structure which, you, look, you're going to start to develop this over time throughout the exercises. And that Wing Chun structure is him centering and feeling his spine and then sensing his bone structure. So he's sensing essentially the space, but specifically the bones. Because as I put pressure into that structure, so keep everything active. As I put pressure into that structure, he can now draw this into his stance. And this actually feels quite good. I'm putting pressure, you know, and, and Carlson, if you can see his feet, you can see there's like pressure going down into his feet. Now, the things that will disconnect your structure is tension. So if Carlson, on purpose, keep your stance on, no, 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 keep your shapes on, and now just tense your shoulders only. If he tenses his shoulders, then I put pressure on him, what you'll notice is see how he starts to, his stance starts to collapse, he starts to go backwards. 
because this incoming pressure goes through the arm structure, hits the tension in the shoulders and knocks him back. Whereas if you can stay centered, keep your shoulders relaxed, center, sense the whole body structure, so just put your concentration in your body, now when I put pressure in, you can take all that pressure in. So this is the wing chun structure that you're trying to develop through, this comes from the Seal Nim Tao form, but can be practiced in the state separately through practicing Seal Nim Tao whilst maintaining awareness of your whole body. So you're sensing your whole body in specifics, the body structure, the bone structure. The muscles should be relaxing and releasing through sinking, but your structure is unified through sensing. Now, another point on structure. When Carlson senses his whole structure, right, he then targets his whole structure to me. Now what that means is that it's unified through his own sensation. He centers and he senses, so he's concentrating on his body, okay? So that he unifies it. But then he unifies it doubly or further by targeting it, targeting it all to the same spot. So every one of his cells, you could say, is pointing in the same direction. So that when I put pressure on him, I'll feel straight away that it's coming back towards me. So this is another way that you unify the structure through common directionality. We'll go deeper into that in other lessons as well. Thanks, Carlson. Um, so, structure in, uh, elevates your level of power without using force because you're using a unified bone structure. Yeah? The way to do it is through centering and sensing. Now, actually, the, literally the first um, lesson face-to-face -face, uh, that I got from my master uh, when I moved to Hong Kong, it was in 2005. Um, I was performing Tan Tao, and he, at that time, it was coming around, so if you do Tan Tao left hand, he was coming to perform, so it's in the middle. Uh, he was performing, a lot of us were doing the form, of course, and we were all quite tense, because we had been doing a lot of chi out in Australia. And he was coming up to us and like, ripping our shoulders back, like really sort ripping our shoulders all the way back and trying to help us get the feeling of, of uh, Tan Tao, right? So I, I asked him, or I asked him to translate for me the question. Um, so with uh, Tan Tao, should I bring my attention to my shoulder? Because it felt like he was bringing all my attention to here before he said I was being correct. And he said, no, no, no. So don't just bring your attention to your shoulder. Always feel your whole body. Now I'm going to say that again because it's important. Always feel your whole body. Because that's how you unify your structure. Not only is it how you unify your structure, it's how you actually develop a sense of presence and awareness of your surroundings, but also of the subtle energies around you as well as you go deeper into the actual energy work of Wing Chun. Um, 